Finally, joined here in Hiroshima by President Zelensky, and the G7 reaffirmed our shared and unwavering, let me say it again, our shared and unwavering commitment to stand with the brave people of Ukraine as they defend themselves against Russia's brutal war of aggression and the war crimes being committed. Together with our partner countries, we reiterated the need for a just peace that respects Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity, both core principles of the UN Charter. Russia started this war, and Russia could end it today by withdrawing its troops from Ukraine, internationally recognized borders, and ceasing its assault. Until then, excuse me, the ability, Ukraine's ability to defend itself <clears throat> is essential to being able to end this war permanently and through diplomacy. You know, and this morning, I once more shared and assured President Zelensky, together with all G7 members and our allies and partners around the world, that we will not waver. Putin will not break our resolve as he thought he could two years ago, almost three years ago. We're going to continue to provide economic, humanitarian, and security assistance to Ukraine so it can stand strong as long as it needs it. And today, the United States announced our latest tranche of artillery, ammunition, anti-tank weapons, and bridging equipment to help Ukraine succeed in the battlefield. 